Welcome to another show, and as you can see, my rating is getting near to 2,500, just a couple of games, and today it is Harry's day. So, let's start with Harry 5. Off we go! Right, so I'm playing DJ blah 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 GM, we'll check him out who he is later on, playing a three minute game, so I'm going to see how I get on and see if I can get to 2500 so it's tense it's tense just a couple of games away and what on earth is happening here well Harry has done a little bit of damage over on the king's side but my opponent is playing very quickly and with I would say quite a sensible strategy here my idea like my one aim in this position is to take control of this f4 square here that my mouse is hovering over so how am i going to do that i need to get my knight to e6 and then a knight in here somehow so that is the plan but my opponent is trying to now um okay he's doing stuff in the center so i might have to concentrate more on central play at the moment maybe i can put my pawn on a4 shove a bishop in him on b3 no one loves a bishop shoved up them do they do they son no so we're going to try to do some craziness like that and i guess i'm 2487 it will take me three wins maybe to get there something like that um something along those lines okay so different strategy now let's take control of the b3 square first and what do i want to do next well i think i want to try to get rid of dark square bishops at some stage so let's attempt to swap them off so again f4 is a lovely square if i can gain access to it my opponent i think should keep the bishops on the board now he can go bishop g5 um f6 take on h5 is that playable for him g5 bishop g3 okay he's gone here now i wasn't too concerned about that because it shuts his bishop out i get the d5 square on the other hand his bishop on g2 now has a bit of breathing to it breathing life getting ready to do a little sacrifice on g4 come on harry you can do it um and now the l swinger so let's bring the rook around okay well i think i think my opponent's position is is absolutely fine here as well he certainly doesn't have anything to worry about he has quite good peace play here and he's kicking my pieces somewhat back now so fairly even position do i am i playing b5 here i guess b5 is one idea maybe also i like this b3 square okay i'm gonna stop his queen coming over to h5 there by just going g6 and what was that last move my opponent's about he really wants harry to come into him okay well he wants to okay so he's sacrificed to get the f6 square this is his master plan and right well let's try to play around that if he comes into f6 i can always take it at this moment in time um i'm a pawn up this should be a pretty good position now i can win another pawn here but he takes there so that's not a clear pawn um okay what do i do now well let's just attack the b pawn and maybe try to get my rook to b3 activate like this makes some sense it's quite an active square for my rook um and i'm just wondering if i am taking this pawn at some stage i'd rather his rook moves out the way i don't like his rook being lined up against my queen what's the only piece not doing anything my rook on f8 so that's the piece i should maybe be concerning myself with at some stage um so let's just put it on a sensible square now and okay i'm gonna move my king here maybe ideas are using harry um i'm wondering I'm, i don't know i mean i can't be bothered to work it out i'm a lazy guy uh, he's just grabbing stuff that is that's just maybe i should just take this pawn now can i get away with this i kind of feel that it looks a bit iffy but i don't know let's see let's see if he moves his knight i'm hoping to take here and that's my plan on g5 want to stop his rook coming in the game and this is all looking so far okay i'm going to flick a check in so now my rook can try to come to h8 come on harry you can be champion okay and now back to some positional play um okay let's just put this on a safe square i want to hold on to this pawn and i'm attacking some of his pawns b5 coming d3 hard to defend 
He's not even trying to defend that one. Okay, so I will take it. And okay, 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 let's come back. Nice and sensible. As long as I don't flap up on time here, I should be very happy, I feel, or, or fall for some horrendous blunder. Um, getting one step nearer to the 2500. Um, okay, so let's just not flap up on time. This is the key. Let's get rid of his rook because his rook's pinning my rook. And okay, an opponent's done a sensible move there. Let's okay, attack his knight. Oh shit, I've lost a piece. Don't matter, he'll lose on time. And instead of okay, me losing a piece, then what's happening here? Well, looking pretty good. My opponent has no time left and his position is crumbling. So, um, just he's quite quick though, so I just have to be wary of that factor. Um, and I'm very slow. So, um, come on, quicken up, Simon, quicken up. What am I doing? Let's push Derek. Harry's gone, so we've got to rely on Derek. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Um, okay, well, let's see if we can play another game. Good, he wants another game. I'll check out who he is later on. I just want to get to 2,400. Come on, Harry! Come on! Come on! It's the day of Harry, as we said already. So this is a bit like the last game, but now things are somewhat reversed. And I like putting my knight on G3 in these positions because I'm always trying to get it into this F5 square. If you see an outpost in chess, try to get your pieces into that outpost. So G5 again is where I want to put this. But let's try to play a little bit more aggressively this time. I want to try to throw Eddie the e-pawn into his position. Okay, well now now he's going to try to gain the square. And he's not. Where, where's, where the hell's that going? That's going nowhere, son. Um, that's a weird square to put your knight, isn't it? Knights on the rim are dim. Why didn't he put his knight in the centre of the board? That doesn't make any sense to me, this square. Way beyond my thinking. And again, like the last game, we saw this square, if you can remember that last game, being a major factor. Okay. I see his plan now. So he's trying to get some of his own squares. Maybe the D4 square uh, like this. Okay, so his play makes some sense here. Um, again, I, I don't understand. Why did he take that piece? Allowing my bishop a beautiful square. Okay, a lot of this guy's moves don't make much sense to me. But, you know, a lot of things in life don't make a lot of sense to me, to be truthfully honest. Um, okay, you can see I'm a bit hyped today. I've just got two more wins, maybe, and I'm there. 2,500! Okay, so. And it is a day of Harry. Okay, well, maybe I've got time to check out who I'm playing. I'm playing... Oh, he's having a bit of a bit of a thing there. Forstin Michael Hoob. That is the name of my opponent. He, what was he smoking there? He looked like he was smoking something a bit more powerful than me. Let's just check that out. Look at that. Um, that is certainly not one of these things I'm smoking. Yeah, anyway... Over to Mr. Harb, who seems to be enjoying himself there with his whatever he was smoking. I think we know what he was smoking, don't we? Well, it seems like a pleasant position to me. Oh, God. I mean, that, again, all I need to do now is try to take control of this F5 square. It's a massive outpost. Um, maybe I can also now play on the queen side. So, hence B4. Try to. Things are quite blocked up on the king side, so you've got to look at another avenue of attack in certain situations. If I mean, one thing to always do, if you're not sure about what plan to play and your position looks quite stodged up, like a, a loaf of bread that's gone a little bit stale, one thing you can always try to do is look for pawn breaks. Just try to work out where your pawn breaks are. Now here, um, my opponent's pawn break is gonna be F5, so, quite sensible play from him no it's not I I, I I I don't know if this guy's completely wasted um or he's playing very well and find it very hard to understand a lot of this guy's moves maybe that's a sign that he's playing very well um could well be I, I mean uh, okay so what's happening here I'm trying to break through I can't see a way to break through here I need to get my bishop back to this square but now he's going to go back and repeat which we don't obviously want to draw here um, okay, well, I'm very happy to get my bishop to g4, and I think I'm happy to swap these guys off, but I don't know. He's going to go f5. He always has this break, so I need to look at pawn breaks, like I mentioned before. b5 is the only pawn break I can see, 
Um, so how am I going to get that in? And well, let's put my queen here because if he goes f5, it's better placed on this diagonal now. And f5, I can take and try to do some exchanges. But okay, I mean, yeah, my position's not as good as I thought somehow. His knight, his knight moving to g7 rather than a stupid idea is actually very clever to just guard some squares that I was coming into. So that was a very wise plan. Okay, well, I have to take this one. I can't allow that. I can't allow him to have too much fun with Freddy. And now. Well, that looks like a juicy square, and we all have a juicy square in chess. Do I play this very committal move now of g4? I don't think I want to play g4. Okay, he's now, he's just trying, this guy is just like trying to stop all my plans. He's trying to stop b5, and now I like my position still. I still think I should have a better position, but how do I break through here? This is the key thing. I'm thinking now, maybe, no, oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, if in doubt, just come back. How, how do I break through here? It's not clear, is it? So I'm going to try and now move in with my queen in some situations. But he's stopped that, of course. This is very hard to break through. Maybe I should be going F, F4 is never going to work. I don't know. I don't know how I, how I do this, actually. Um, so if in doubt, just shuffle. If in doubt, then shuffle. Do, 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 do. That could be a song, couldn't it? A very bad one. Okay, I'm not worried about that because my bishop does good defence along there. So I'm going to try that. Okay, another plan has been found, and that plan is what the what the this guy's been smoking some seriously good shit. What was that? Um, have I got over? No, twenty four ninety nine. Ah, oh, one 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 point away um, from. Ah, oh, from getting to my, my one aim. Okay, well, I've got to find another game now. Anyone just needs to win my next game. And I've done my little, uh, my little, uh, my first goal, which is to get over 2,500. Okay, come on. I just need to win this game. Can I do it? Sicilian. Come on, Sicilian. What are we going to do? Let's go. Let's go mainline dragon and see if we can do it in style. And then I can. Oh, no. 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 That is what we call the super accelerated shitty dragon. Oh, that was that was like mouse slip, mouse. Slip. And he wants to have a draw. I don't want a draw. I can't have a draw. I need to win. Oh dear, that was embarrassingly awful. Oh no, my position is just ah oh, flipping heck, flipping heck. Oh dear, that was that was just oh no. Now it's all falling apart. Oh blooming heck. That was just awful, Simon. Awful, 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 awful. My position is crumbling. Oh, I've never been so frustrated with a move in my life, I don't think, than that here. And this is just this is just like this is a smellophon. Whatever a smellophon is. This just smells rotten. I'm dropping poor oh come on. Oh dear. So close yet so far. G five, what the hell was that move? It was awful. Mouse slip at the wrong time. Okay, well, I've got to somehow fight back from uh, this ridiculous situation, or should I say, situation. Uh, now, I mean, how am I? I mean, the, this position can possibly not get any worse. He's got a knight on d5, um, and I just don't see any possible plan for me, and he's a pawn up. So, this is certainly a situation. I don't like it. I oh, flip it. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's just getting worse. Oh dear, and he's winning that one. Oh god, that was awful. Maybe I should have taken a draw. What a pathetic way not to get over twenty five hundred. Okay, it's only three pawns when he takes that one. Oh, I need some damn good tricks here. Um, right, where's the hustle mode? Anyone tell me where hustle mode is? I can't see it. Hustle mode, where are you? Um, I just can't see hustle mode. Oh, and he's going there. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Just give us a break. Um, oh, 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 this is just... Oh. Oh. Not so good, this one. Well, it's going to be a while. Maybe I should offer him a draw. That's just a bit cheeky. I'm down on time. Shall I let him smother and mate me for the crowd? Shall I let him do that? Shall we have a little bit of fun? Shall I, shall I let him smother? Everyone must know what a smother mate is. Or shall I keep fighting? 
Um, Knight c7 check is obviously uh, the move to play when if I want to avoid being mated, I've got to take with my rook. But then I'm going to exchange. He doesn't even want to do that. I mean, well, he's so many pawns up. This has got to be winning as well. Okay, I'm going to just try to move quick and get some kind of hustle going here, but I can't see it in this position. Oh, I was going to go... I mean, I'm not playing very well in this game. Let's get my king out of that... Si oh, oh, it's all going wrong. <sighs> Deep breaths. Quick, quick. I need to play quick here. The only way I can win this position is on time. That is becoming clearer and clearer. I'm not winning this position on position, so I need to move quickly and somehow generate something on the queen side, king side it is. Uh, don't know how my knight can't get in the game. Um, it's looking ugly. Okay, well I need to open up Harry the H file and somehow try to get sneak my rooks around the second rank. This is my one try. There's a glimmer of hope here now. Just a small glimmer. The glimmer's getting a bit bigger if I can get my rook there. That will be a big glimmer of hope. Ooh, I shouldn't have let me sneak my rook in there. Always be aware of your opponent's counterplay. And my opponent, okay, he's got he's got he's he's got rook here, but um his rook is getting my pieces are becoming awfully happy, I think, quite soon, aren't they? My knight's coming in. And now I've even probably got a draw here, but um, we don't want to draw still, do we? I've got quite ac good activity here. I, could, I was thinking of draw knight c2, knight d4, blah, 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 like that. Um, let's give my king an escape square so I don't get back spanked. We want to avoid the back spankers in life. It's never pleasant getting back spanked, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Um, okay. Well, if I'm fighting back. I am fighting back with my... Crazy horse of a knight. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I thought I was fighting back, but now. Okay. Is he going to. Oh, he's going to bloody mate me! Shit! <laughs> if I go there, I forgot he had rook c7, mate. So now, now I. Oh, well. I mean, this should be mate now somehow. It should be. Where is the mate, though? Oh! Fuck a duck. Oh, dear. That was awful. That was awful. Very, very bad there from me. Right, now I've got a lot of games to win. So I'll be here a bit longer than I hoped. King's Gambit. No more mouse slips, please. So what do I have to do now? Win another three games? Not easy getting over 2,500. So as long as I don't mouse slip, I got right back in that game as well. That was so frustrating. After everything that had occurred, I should have, I really should have done better in that game. I mean, I had some great opportunities now, um, can I, let's just get rid of that. No, I don't want to do that because this queen comes in. I've forgotten my theory here. Um, that's probably not theory because knight d4. Oh, uh, oh dear. What, what the hell's going on? I sh I, I'm supposed to know this opening. Uh, can I take there and go a bit uh, mental? Um, can I even take on e5 and go a bit mental? That is just a bit too mental. Um, how, did, how, did he, how did he cheek his way into this position? Okay, well he's got queen h4 check in a lot of positions, so I'm going to stop that by putting a pawn there. Again, shitty opening here. Crappy openings I'm getting. Okay, right, let's, let's keep fighting. So, the idea of h4 is simply to stop, in some positions, his queen coming to that square. Okay, let's take that one off, because that gives me opportunities now of taking here does it not ladies and gentlemen i believe it does thank you very much sir and well that's certainly improved my uh, position i'd imagine and okay but let's not flaff this up the, the pressure's getting to me here is there something beautiful here um rook here again i have to watch out for this one let's uh try to get castle queenside and not risk too much so knight here, he's going this way. Okay, and I'm going to bring that bishop back. And I need to get something on the f-file to attack him there. Worth pointing out that castle's king side would be a travesty here. Because he's got everything lined up against my king. But 
I may well, if I get a rook to f1, may well be able to get some funky stuff going with that. I mean, h6, even rook f1, is highly tactical, but quite an entertaining idea, I feel. Is there even some beautiful checkmate with knight? No, he's got knight f6. Okay. Um, I've even got knight takes d4. Lots of interesting... Oh, knight takes d4 here is nice. Well, he's fallen into that one. Bishop takes queen, knight e6 check. Well, that should that should be the end of that. And it is indeed. Okay, well, let's try again. So, 92. Eight points to go. Okay, I'm just going to stick with the French defence now which I've done a series for on chess.com. If you want to go and get your golden membership there, whatever it is, premium membership. I've also done DVDs. Want to buy a DVD, mate? Want to buy a DVD? From Ginger GM, where I do an eight-hour um, analysis of on one DVD, and I think it's six on the other of this particular line. So I better now get a good position from this. This is all in the DVD, all in the DVD. Um, okie doke, what am I doing here? Well, d4 is a very natural move, and I don't know, I've forgotten my theory here, so I'm just going to try to finish my development. It's not really fair when your opponent starts using your best friend against you. I mean, he really shouldn't be shoving Harry up my bottom, should he? That's not very, that's not cricket. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you shoving Harry up my bottom? I don't want Harry going up my bottom, thank you very much. Well, that's awfully annoying, what he's done there. Okay, look, let's blast it. Let's blast it open. Shh. If in doubt, blast it. Teach him... Oh, dear. Terrible. That wasn't a blast, that was a blunder. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, I've just blundered a piece here. That's what happens when Harry gets shoved up your bottom. It's not a pleasurable experience. Um, and, well, I'm just a piece down here, aren't I? Oh, that was awful. Awful play by me. Not a great game, this one. And, uh, yeah, do you still want to buy my DVD? Oh, I certainly don't want to buy it anymore, um, <clears throat> which I should be saying. Okay, well, I need, again, a miracle here. Resignations is never a bad idea, someone told me, but I don't necessarily agree with that. Should have gone should have gone knight there last move. Why didn't I do that? I mean, that would have given me some chances. That pawn. Harry is he's giving me a bit of my own stuff here, isn't it? Harry is just like, Harry is just like, oh dear. This is what it's like to be on the receiving end of Harry. And it's not fun. It's not fun when Harry comes at you like this. Oh, come on, leave me alone, Harry. I want to get rid of Harry. He's, he's such an annoying pawn. But I am a piece down, so it's miracle time here. Well, I'm definitely getting rid of you, boy. Definitely, you're coming off the board. Okay, so this is what we say, a terrible position. Um, of course, but I was going to say there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I'm struggling to find any light in this tunnel here. So I'm just going to move my king like a rabid animal. That is just, that's, that king has just lost the plot. Um, some would say I have as well. Um, okay, well, if in doubt, what am I doing? He's coming in there. With, oh, he's just he's coming there. He's coming everywhere. Um, and no one likes a man who comes everywhere, do they? Never a pleasant experience. And uh, yes, well, I'm trying to get my... Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. It's just not going to happen, is it? I'm just not going to ever get to... I'm not going to ever get to uh, 2,500. Okay, as soon as I lose another game, that's it. That's game over. Game over. That was poor. And he's actually got... Okay, the Raptor variation. Haven't had this for a while. And uh, this is actually one of my favourite variations. Um, it's all about Harry. Whoever gets Harry going first wins. And this Raptor variation is quite dangerous, actually, for Black. Okay, you can go grabbing pawns. But one of the key things in Blitz Chess, i found, is to have the initiative. So he didn't even grab my pawn, which means... I should have a safe advantage here. And even more importantly, Harry is having a time of his life over here. Now, the idea of this knight move, I want to get this knight to c4. This would be the ideal square for my knight. Because if I get it there, it attacks the queen and it places some nice pressure on his position. So 
again I'm playing this sort of positional idea. It's not as good with the knight on c4 if he hasn't gone a6 though, so wow, let's let's just charge, you know. Let's just charge. And now it gives him away this square. But maybe I have some chances later on the king's side. This is what I'm hoping to achieve um, somehow. Uh, okay, well, we're going to stop his knight coming in. Not sure. It's very hard to find a pawn break here. And he, my opponent should now be probably playing... Oh, he's going for it. Okay, well, we don't mind that. We don't mind him having a punt um, or even losing a piece. I don't know. That was, I don't believe, his sacrifice. Because if he could play queen h4, yeah, I'd be scared here. But his queen and bishop are the wrong way around. So I'm not too afraid here. Um, and, well, if anyone's going to attack, it could, be, could well be me. Bishop d3 coming, queen d3, knight e3 in. I quite like queen d3 here. I'm trying to force him to move. Well, he has to probably take on c3. Quite happy to get rid of that one. And I've just got to stop him. Okay, he's trying to come in with the queen. So we are going to meet queen h4, rook h1. That's the idea I'm playing here. Just to, just to stop that. And now, well, if I go queen f5, he comes here with the queen anyway. He wants to go f5. Okay, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Um, that's not that's not cricket again. Uh, can I t just take here, then here the knight? To okay, let's try something a little bit suspicious about that move. F5 knight takes. I'm hoping works. E4 knight takes, and obviously if I get my knight to f5, it's going to be a winning position, I'd imagine, because. My knight is very well placed on that that square there. So this is the move I was worried about. Now I'm hoping that this knight takes hold holds things together because rook takes, I have queen takes. And if he goes, the only move I was worried about here was e4. Queen takes, okay, so here he has the idea of just going rook here and he wants to take on f5 with his rook. But I was hoping now my knight can transfer to the g6 square. Where does he put his king? So this should be should be very, very good. Okay, well, this is getting even better now. Um, aha, he's still got this annoying queen coming in. Um, which I underestimated again. Shiza. Flippin' egg. Why am I allowing my opponent to get all these attacking moves in, which I sh really shouldn't be? Now, I should let's not panic. Let's not panic much, just a little bit. Minor panic is okay, not a major panic. Now, maybe I'm... Oh, no, if I take that... Can I take that one to try to... S okay, let's take that one. I think it's time to get rid of his bishop. His bishop was just... Okay, well, we, we'll take the mouse slip. I don't even know how you do take backs here. I would probably give him a take back there if I had to, but I think that position was winning anyway. Because I was going to be a piece up. Okay, back to the dragon. But not the accelerated bullshit dragon. We're going to try the normal dragon now. Okay, so let's uh, let's just see if I can get g6 in. Ha, oh, good. Thank you, mouse slip. And we're going mainline dragon. Because we always have a bit of fun with this variation. Oh, my opponent's not. He's going to castle. He's going to castle on the others. Wait, where's he going to castle? I don't know. Who knows if he goes. He's going queenside, okay. Typical interesting position. He pushes Harry. I stop Harry and then I try to attack on the queen side with a piece coming to c4, queen coming to a5. These kind of ideas are your normal attacking ideas in the dragon. Still very hard to break through. Um, okay, not worried about that. I don't understand why he's moving pieces backwards. Doesn't again look like a very logical move here. He's he's not Karpov. I mean, you know, he's not Karpov indeed. He's certainly not Karpov. Um, of course, he should go g4 here, but I want to meet this with. Can we now? If I take here, what's this like? Okay, let's try. He takes here. Take queen takes. Uh, he's going pawn takes. Well, I've got now some play against c2 in some positions, but not quite yet. Um, okay, let's try to move my queen to a more active square. 
try to get it into c5. I want to go bishop f5, but that was met by knight to d4. So all I'm trying to do now is activate my pieces to the best squares. Endings here are quite good for me. So I'm still a little bit afraid about him going g4 here. g4 is a slightly scary move. Okay, now... What I'm trying to do here is just obviously hit this pawn. He's gone g4. Now, I, I, I'm I, not even going to consider taking that because then it allows h5. So I'm trying to hold on like this. Queen g5. Can I go f6? Looks a bit ugly for me. Um, okay. If I go queen takes here, he has knight f5, which is very, very bad for me. And if king to f8, he has queen here. Or does he? Okay, well, let's try this. Uh, queen g5, maybe, just maybe, I can try to escape with f6. Um, queen g5, take on d4, takes here, check. King g7, queen takes d7. And it might be playable for me, that position, after queen takes d5. But it's something I don't like about that. But of course, queen g5 here, or queen e3 is also a very good move. Why not queen e3 was also very, very strong. This move, though, is certainly a bit worrying. Now, okay, I'm going to have to defend that one. And it's just simply rook e4 and then rook e1. I'm not liking this. My pieces are lacking coordination. He's found the move as well. Okay, now I'm going to have to try to, to mix it up uh, somehow. How do I mix this up? I don't know how we mix this up, unfortunately. This is a bloody stinky position. What am I doing today? This is so annoying after I got so close. So frustrating with my crappy play that I'm doing here. Well, I've got a little trick. If I play here, I can hope he goes pawn takes. I've got queen takes queen. That's a very weird little move. But of course this move just looks, it looks wrong. It simply looks wrong, but maybe it's my only try in this position because otherwise my E pawn was uh, collapsing. Um, and again, I, if I can somehow hold on by taking on D5, maybe, maybe I'm back in the game. So he's gone here. So what if I take here, he's going queen f6, is he? I don't understand that. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's find out what his idea is. I say that very cautiously. Oh, is he going rook takes f7? Oh, and he's, I think rook takes f7 was incredibly scary there. Um, with rook f4 to come. Uh, that was certainly scary. Okay, well, I think I should, with careful defence, I should should be holding this now but again it's much harder to defend in chess than attack so i need to do some more defensive maneuvering here and just hope that something nasty is not happening on f7 um he still has a bit of pressure though like just simply rook takes d4 uh, okay, he's moved. where did he move? Don't even know. Oh, he went there. Oh God, did I just fall into something really? I mean, how crap am I today? That was awful. How did I miss that one? That was such a stupid, stupid miss from me. That I mean, that's just obvious. Oh, oh, I think I've had enough of this. I've had enough, enough of this. I've had enough of this game. That's for sure. That was very bad play from me um, to allow that. I mean, just rook takes now is uh, is curtains, really. I mean, there's no way anything pleasant is coming from this position. Um, well, I say that, getting a bit, he's taking his time, isn't he? Right, okay, let's not give up yet. Ooh, what's he doing? Is he falling asleep? Okay, bang, let's just, no, quick. Okay, quick, gotta move quick, gotta move quick, quick. Quick, 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 Simon. Quick, quick. Fuck you. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I, I, that, was, that, was, that was the lucky win that I needed, so there. 
Um, I was about to log off for the day. Uh, okay, well, I'm still just nine points away now. And we need... Well, I was going to try the Raptor again. Trompovsky is an old opening, this Bishop G5 of... Um, uh, what's this line? I don't know what this is all about. It's an old line of Julian Hodson and Mickey Adams used to play this um, opening. Uh, so it's a really English opening. And it's quite a unique way of playing. If you're looking at something interesting to play then bishop g5 avoids a lot of theory and you know it's it's a uh, it's, it's got a lot of a lot of sense to it as well so maybe something you guys could consider back home okay again in these positions i know my knight on f3 wants to come to c4 so this is where my knight is going to be heading he's he's really he's playing a bit like me isn't he this guy he's pushing his pieces his his bits and bobs around and you know i can i can see that what he's doing does make a lot of sense actually uh, so on the other hand i've got to try to now i'm going to get try to get rid of this knight on e5 i don't like that knight there it's, just, it's much stronger than my knight on d2 so let's exchange that one off and here fairly even position i'd imagine okay well that does give me a chance now to open it up with his king here so his last move, last move looks suspicious to me. I see a square on b6, so I'm coming into that square. Uh, simple play. And I don't think he should have allowed my um, plan of basically taking on e6. I think he should have played e5. Uh, okay. What next? Well, I want to get my queen in or chase his queen away. Okay, well, it's my uh, bishop's quite nice there, but it might be nicer if I can get knight c4 in e5, so my bishop comes on this diagonal towards his king. So that's why that's why I've done this maneuver. Um, so d5, obviously, and now, well, let, let's let's throw the check in. Looks like an interesting possibility here. Um, and right, so I need to open his king up. So let's start with c4. Not worried about him winning a pawn with his king. I mean, this is the the least of my worries. I say that and he's done it. I mean, what's he? I mean, now he's put his king on this square, and sim my play is very simple now. I just try to open up his position to get to his king, while my king is is very happy behind its bodyguards here. So I think he's playing very risky. I'm not saying it's necessarily bad the way he's playing, but it's very risky. I mean, my pieces have got lots of open lines. Both my rooks on open lines. And his king, to me, looks very, very, um, I don't know, unsafe, I think is the right word here. So I need to get my queen in the game now. So that's the idea of this move, to try to get sneak my queen into g5. Because my rooks are doing a good job, my bishop's okay, my queen is the only piece not playing. And I thought by putting it on c1, I had the c5 move to cut his queen off and to now attack his pawn on this square. Now, if I move my rook, I get I mean, if I move my queen, I get mated here. So let's just try not to do that. Um, and if I get my queen in, it's pretty much game over. So can let's move my rook first. Not an ideal move because my rook was quite well placed, but I think it's much more important to play a move like this. Before it wasn't possible because e1 was hanging, but I need to get my queen into the attack here. And by playing it here, I can try to swing to the d6 square. So this is uh, the idea and why I, why I had to move my rook here. Just trying to get all your pieces playing in the attack. When you're attacking, look at your pieces, which are not doing anything. Get them into the attack. Quite simple. Now, queen takes c5. I have rook c1. So that's something I don't have to worry about here. And, well, I, even though I'm probably a number of pawns down here, two pawns down, I've got the initiative, got the attack. So that should be worth the material imbalance. Now, there's a little tactic here. If I take here... 
that means if he takes to the pawn, I have queen d6 and take on b8. So that looks like a good move to me. Now I just got to be, always remember about the back spankers. So he is trying to do that himself by getting access to e1. So if he goes rook takes, he has rook e1. Okay, so where is the good moves here? There should be something incredibly strong in this position. Um, but he's always got this check. Okay. Now, to do, well, let's let's check here to start with, and maybe mm, it's annoying. This it's annoying that I don't have an immediate win. I can't see. I I think I'm alright because I always have Bishop F one. I missed that one originally, but now bollocks, I am losing my rook to check there. No worries, it's only a rook. And he's got four seconds left. So the hustle comes into play. Hustle, hustle, hustle. There we go. That is the hustle. Ah, not perfect games, but you know, scrappy is better than nothing. Scrappy is better than nothing. If I win the next one, I get to 2,500 precisely. So it's time for the black line. Let's rely on this opening. If you've been following my videos, you may have seen this before. This way of playing against e4 now it resembles more of a king's indian opening which is fine because i don't i don't mind playing these systems i'm going for a quick attack surprise surprise um with and i if you can exchange dark square bishops in these type of positions it helps you because your pawns are on dark squares that means your dark square bishop is a bad piece your light square bishop should be a better piece that's why i am aiming to exchange off these pieces. Now the next thing I want to do is secure a square on c5 for my knight. So I want to go a5, knight c5, and get my knight to that square. Now I'm not worried about him pushing there, so let's just continue with my plan. Then once I've got my knight to c5, okay, well he might now be threatening to play this because no, I don't I don't know. No, I, I think I, I think somehow I can still play this. Um, and now I want to play f4, f5. This is my break, normal break in the King's Indian. This, this, uh, this, this move here, and my pieces seem to be coming quite active here. Um, now I think I'll get rid of his bishop, and let's just move this one to avoid any g4s. And I like my bishop on this long diagonal here. This is a nice diagonal for the bishop. Maybe I can even consider getting the queen in front of that bishop to put double pressure against his king. His king is certainly a little bit exposed here. Um, and his pieces don't look good. He has no attack, so I prefer my position. So we're nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly to 2,500. Um, okay, queen's not doing anything. Again, very simple play. Think of my worst place pieces and bring them to better square. So that is exactly what I'm trying to do with this maneuver I've done. Now I can take there, but c is always hanging. You can't take my knight because there's a mate on c2. And let's just try to get rid of this one now. Okay, he's, he's got a nice hold of the e4 square. He's played this well by grabbing control of that square so it's still in the balance i think i prefer my position because all my pieces have a purpose here and all my pieces are kind of got i can i'm the one who can exchange when e4 when i want to i'm the one with this diagonal so he's the one under more pressure so i'm better but he's got some kind of blockade here on the e4 square now can i just with this pawn now let's see if i can now knight takes, he goes bishop to d3, clearly his idea. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about that at the moment in time. I don't think that pawn's going to run away anywhere. So first of all, let's um, put my rook on the 7th, that's where rooks belong. And now, well if I do mass exchanges, take here, here pawn up in an ending let's try it let's go for that because i have queen g5 at the end now 
um, after bishop d3, which we might see, which I didn't have before because his queen was defended before. Bishop d3, queen g5. Now this, but he, he, maybe I've not assessed this that well because he has his knight coming to b5, which is awfully annoying. That's something which uh, I misassess this position. Um, and actually, you know, I don't know. I don't like. I don't like my position because if I lose this d pawn, then uh, yeah, it's, it's not pleasant actually. That was bad. That was very bad. Oh god, I'm not one game away again. What's going on? Ah, oh, I can't lose this pawn though. If I lose this pawn, it's just like his d pawn is so strong. Ah, that was really bad play from me yet again. I shouldn't shouldn't have lost this ending. Um, okay. Well, I think I'm worse here, but let, let's see. At least I can get my knight to f7 now to defend this pawn. I can't I can't lose my my d pawn because his d pawn is so strong. So this is this is what I need to play now. Um, and. Uh, da, 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 da. Need to get my knight to f5, not easy to do. Okay. Mm. Knight c3, I'm losing the pawn. Okay, let's try to weaken his h5 pawn. Time is bad as well. He's got that move. Good move. My king can try to run, but then he checks on f5. I need to just try to hold this position, try to get a draw, I think. Okay, let's see. Let's see over presses. Okay, let's go for a win. Let's go for the win. Oh no, what am I talking about? I just blundered a pawn. What ridiculous move! Ah, oh, dear Simon, why do you play like such a fool sometimes? Such a blatant fool. Really bad. And very bad play from me. Not happy about my standard in this game. So, um. Only hope is to win on time, but not happening when I'm so much time down. Oh, he's, he's, he's playing rather funny ideas here. Oh. oh okay Oof. well that was pretty poor i mean i i had control of the middle game but but it was a badly calculated little tactic i rushed into uh i rushed into taking his pawn on um e4 when i had control of the position so i clearly did not need to rush into taking that my one aim is just to get 2500 and then uh and then i can Basically, just uh, that's it. I will try a, different, a longer time limit there. So I'm gonna. I'm so close to getting to 2,500 now. It'd be it'd be very annoying to stop at this moment. But uh, I'll try a little bit more. You know, just see if I can get there. But it's it's really. So I mean, I was just one game away on two occasions. Will I ever get there? And then I then you know then the next game is 2,600. We do one step at a time, and then of course 2,700. And then before you know it. I am the new Hikaru Nakamura. So that is the aim. Chess explained. Oh, chess explained. Well, it'd be lovely to play him. Okay, so who are we playing? Okay, I played this guy the other day and um, I did okay against him, but he's he's a good player and he's very quick. Five minutes though. Five minutes, nice. That's a nice change. A bit more time to think. Gonna stick with my Dutch and my idea is to bring my queen to h5, go f4, bishop h3, knight g4 and checkmate the guy. <sighs> simple when you say it like that, isn't it? Um, no, chess is never that simple. So, okay. What's this position like? This little useful move there, get out of any checks. It's a lazy move as well. So that's basically saying I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, well, I'm still going to swing my queen over to h5. In these types of positions, the queen is often best placed on the h5 square. 
Um, so that's where I'm probably going to land my queen. It's a very sort of Mexican standoff in the center, this pawn, pawn position here. Um, now, it'd be lovely if I could get my bishop back to c5 now, but obviously you can't do these things in chess. So, time to... Well, you know what? I'm going to take my bishop. I'm not worried about him taking there. You can have my rook. What's a rook, eh? We don't need rooks. I don't, I don't think he was man enough to do that. He's not a man. Right, back we go. Now, my one plan, I do have the bishop pair. His knight is very good. I've got to play the move c6. In order to play that, I have to move my knight. But the other plan I have is to gain control of the d4 square, which is an outpost which he can't kick me away. So, stage one done. Get my knight out of the way to go c6. Um, but how is this going to be? Well, I'm just going to keep a good eye on my back rank. This is the one problem. I have to be careful of obviously any tricks occurring on the back rank now. I might even just take his knight on h5 with my bishop. I'd rather get my bishop on this diagonal here, the b6 g1 diagonal, but that seems to be quite hard to achieve. So for the time being, I'm just going to play like this. Okay. Now, yeah, I don't really want to move my knight there. It looks like such a nice piece. Now, c6. Okay, let's let's play c6. Try to try to do a little pawn sack line. Um, okay, well now now I think he should have grabbed grabbed that pawn on d4. I've got my bishop to the square now. His pieces are a nuisance as well. Don't get me wrong, they are a nuisance. But I have just won a pawn, which is probably more of a nuisance to him. Um, and, okay, my next plan is to get my rook to d8, maybe try to get rid of his knight on f5. That's the only piece that's really kind of bugging me at the moment. So I just want to, like, maybe try to arrange so I can play g6. Well, I didn't expect that. I think it's fair to say that was a bit of a shock. King takes queen check. Queen here, queen takes there, check. Yeah, that's a good move you just played. Right, okay, well, we're gonna have to do this instead. Nice idea from my opponent. I don't normally miss too many moves, but I missed that one. Um, and as we're gonna see, he's, he's, he's this is a very nice plan from my opponent. He's now taken control of the position and one pawn in the process so nice play from him bad play from me and my king is the issue here this is a problem whatever happens my king is is exposed but not all bad knight in the center queen in the center central control so still anyone's game um, okay, let's try to put my queen somewhere. I want to get my rook. Obviously, it's all, like I said before, about getting my rook in. I forgot this is a five-minute game. It's hard to adjust in time limits, isn't it? Hard to change. Now, okay, so he wants to come down here. On the other hand, I want to try to... Okay, maybe I just have to defend the b-pawn. So wary of tricks in positions like this because it's very likely there are a number of tricks in positions like this because because my pieces seem a bit hanging, my king is weak, so I've just got to be wary of the tricks. Um, okay, now I must try to use my rook in this game. Is king very safe as well? Now, queen to f7. Of course, he plays this. And exchange of queens, I'm absolutely fine, if not better. Um, but this is not easy to do. Okay, now my knight is going to be secured there. I'm, I'm feeling suddenly feeling a little bit more, slightly more confident about things. 
Hence why my opponent's trying to kick that away. Again, any ending, I'm not I'm not scared of endings. Um, but I am bloody scared about checkmating two moves. Patsa! Oh dear, that was awful. Really terrible. Not quite checkmate, but it's bloody bad enough. Okay. Bad. Well, we've got to play him another one. It's not happening today. I think we will be stopping soon. One last try with the Raptor. Uh, okay, and that last game, yeah, I should be fine there, but not. Okay, well, I'm, you know, ha Harry wants to die. Harry wants to die today. Die, Harry, die. This looks very dangerous, my opponent. I mean, I've just got a route one tactic. Swap the dark squared bishops off and checkmate him on h7. Now that is the kind of plan which I appreciate. No messing about. Bishop h6, checkmate. That is the plan. Well, let's let's try. No point messing, is there? And Harry has died a very brave death here. Very brave death. Well, Bishop g4, I think he is forced to play. He can't play anything else except Bishop g4. If he doesn't play Bishop g4, then... Well, he can try moving his e-pawn. Uh, I mean, Bishop g4 just looks natural. When I will probably just take his bishop off and castle queenside. Okay, well, I thought he could try this, but... It looks awfully risky. Let's get rid of the bishop. And just win that pawn. He goes d4. Then my knight has access nearer to his king. And now this one. So he goes knight takes queen h6. Remember what it said? Just checkmate him on h7. Simple. So this is this is this is better. This is a lot better. Only move probably knight b. No, I can't go knight before I take it. Well, wow, this position's stinky, like a bad cheese. Okay, keeps finding only moves, but yeah, if Bishop takes G four was was the issue. All right, I'm just going to castle. We don't need to do anything spectacular at the moment. And you know, even even when you're attacking, you have to be willing to swap off into endings uh, at certain stages. And now I, I'd be quite willing to to I think just take off into an ending here. Because it should still be some structural advantage. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have pushed for a more aggressive way to play. But this does look like a good ending with his broken pawns. But I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the most uh, testing line against him. Can't lose another game. Devastating. Oh. Well, I mean, he can take on a2 if he really wants to, but it looks a little bit, a little bit risky, doesn't it? Okay. Fireworks, as you can probably hear outside. I think it's fireworks night in my local town. Uh, don't like my position anymore. What have I done? What am I doing today? I mean, am I really going to put my bishop back on f1 again? Oh. Beggar's belief. Yeah, this is this is not how you don't. If you're trying to learn technique, and just basically don't look at my games. What one rule I got to have in future is just attack. I mean, I should have just mated him in this game. Don't know why why I'm messing about so much here. This is crazy, you know, absolutely crazy. So near to my twenty uh, twenty five hundred as well. I just can't get there. Can't get there. So, well, like I said, look, okay, the next game I draw or lose, that's it. That's enough. That's me. That's me done. And I think my rating is pretty much the same. It started. I might have even gone down a bit. Travesty. It's a travesty. Okay, so he wants to push this. My king should be on e3. That is the best square for my king, so let's move it there. Um, yep, his, put, his plan has been good, he's put my pawns on light squares, light square bishop, could be a target later on. 
for him to attack. But I need to get my king to e3, centralise my king. Much more active there than it was on uh, his previous square. c3 looks like a good move though, doesn't it? From my opponent. Okay. Now, I want to... No. I want to meet c3 with b3, but I have to be careful if bishop takes b3. It just about works here because I have rook c1 at the end, if you can see that train of thought. And still, I mean, I'm being kind of outplayed here, I'll be honest. I'm not, not uh, from a position I had. My position is has is, is become a lot worse. So, okay, so I, I was hoping that bishop takes b3 does not work. And if that's the case, then I'm reasonably happy because I can go bishop d3 something like this soon stopping my bishop from moving how do i get my rook out and my bishop out not clear i can't go here because rook here check well let's see if i can ever bring it maybe out uh, horizontally okay well i see i think i see my opponent's plan now he's he still wants to take here with a bishop at some point. I really have to watch out for this move. I think I'm going to have to bring my rook back just to keep an eye on that. Okay, this is the way I should play. Put my king here first so I can move my bishop. I need to get my bishop out. And again, if he takes here, nothing to worry about. So, Okay, now at least my bishop come out. Can't let his king come into the dark squares too far. So I have to play this. Okay, you can take here, but then I take here, check, and my rook can start getting involved in the game. Hopefully. Always worried about him taking on b3. So There's always that little tactic that you must keep an eye on in such positions. Bishop take b3 when he's got this pawn formation. Um, luckily, my bishop on d3 can always give me the opportunity to to capture that one so not so bad okay now 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 I'm now I'm better I'm sure because my rook has found life in the position um where's that bishop going is he going here to try to swap off my bishop quite possibly but then I can take with the king that's a good good move he's done okay I think I can always take with the pawn and go rook c4 so it should be all right I'm hoping. Got to get my. I'm just taking all these pawns like a sniper. Elimination of pawns. Now, now c3 is very bad. Well, this is clearly a winning ending. As long as I don't do something ridiculous, Simon. Don't do something ridiculous. Please don't do something ridiculous. Okay, alright. Let's get rid of this pawn. And now, oh no, don't do something ridiculous. Rook c7 check. Oh, he didn't see it. Oh, Oof. that was a heart attack there. That was heart attack like situation there. Don't do something ridiculous. And what do I do? I nearly did something ridiculous. <sighs> Poor dear. Uh, I'm not playing this well, though, am I? I mean, what am I doing? Okay. Well, I'm doing something very stupid here. And might be good enough, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, look at his clock. Look at his clock. His clock is not good. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is, it's, uh, it's all over now, isn't it? Um, and the extra pawn, probably a winning position anyway, because my D pawn will come and win the day. Okay, 88, get in there, little by little, little by little. Not so easy, but little by little. It's a long session, isn't it? I mean, what happened here? Three minutes, probably three minute. These long, I'm not used to these long games now. I promise you, when I get to 2500, I'll go back to the 15 minutes so we can actually look at my thought processes a bit more rather than this crazy random rubbish, you know. But when you set yourself a goal in life, you should, uh, you should try to get to that goal, I guess. I'm sure there are better goals in life than becoming uh, 
you know, uh, well, I'm playing the same guy three minute now. That's better. I'm sure there are better goals in life than you know, aiming to get to twenty five hundred on a on a chess program. But I don't know. We've got to have our goals. Okay, right. So what's happening here, Harry? You're a naughty little boy, aren't you, Harry? You're a naughty boy. Harry is a naughty boy today. Uh, what on earth is this opening? I have no idea what this this is all about. Just don't ask me. This is weird. Uh, what's he doing? He's, he's moving his knights around, but in the meantime, my bishops are moving around. So it's all because of Harry. And I'm threatening his knight now. And of course, I I what the hell is that? I mean, is this guy like? What's this guy doing? Okay, I mean, he gets a lot of pawns, but it's just, that just seems so strange to me to do that. I mean, he's got a check, he takes it. Yeah, sure. But uh, very peculiar. I'm not worried about him taking my pawns anyway. Why would I Why would I be worried about pawns? Pawns, pawns. I don't like pawns anyway. They just, they just piss me off. They get in the way. Pawns need to be taken. Um, that's my new book. You need to give up the little guys. So keep an eye on that. And now I have a new plan of checkmating him. Just the kind of plan that I like. Okay. God, he's taking everything. Capitalist bastard. Greedy. It's just greedy. You can't you can't play greedy chess like this. It's not right. It shouldn't it shouldn't be allowed. There should be a rule against this unless your name is Houdini. And I'm sure I'm sure my opponent is not Houdini. The computer. Uh, okay, well, I, I don't want a castle because I want to make him on the H file, but in actual fact, I'm kind of thinking that uh, castling is not looking so ridiculous. Um, maybe a sacrifice was just inspired. I'm being very negative about my opponent's play, aren't I? Maybe it was just an inspired sacrifice that my opponent's come up with because uh, he does seem to be getting some quite juicy play for his pieces. Um, probably because I've played it terribly, but. Okay, well this is a mess. I like messy positions. Let's just just concentrate on a nice mess. I think now I should definitely castle. I mean, you can't go your whole life without castling, can you? That'd just be rude. Here, probably grab another pawn. No, Mr. Greedy. Mr. Greedy here. No, he can't grab it because my queen's defending it. All right. And what is this position all about? What is this about? I don't know. Messy. Messy, messy, messy. How many pawns has he got? He's got three pawns now. But I've got an extra piece. Right. Okay, let's go in. Looks like a decent move, doesn't it? That's where I wanted to move my knight anyway. Now knight f3 is, is a threat, winning his queen. So I'm not entirely sure what the idea of his last manoeuvre was. Um, okay, well, we'll see. Probably soon. He's got to move his queen because knight f3 check. Knight f3 check is just a killer. Killer move there. Um, I'd imagine. Looks pretty strong, doesn't it? Knight f3 check. I mean, he can maybe he can take on c7 here if he wants to. Now, that looks to me like a blunder. He gets a lot of pieces for it. You know what? I, I'm not even going to do that. I mean, it probably was winning, but I'm not even going to give him the satisfaction of that. Um, don't allow your opponent any satisfaction if you can. I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather keep doing what I'm doing actually, because I'm so happy about my position. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't even need to, because I mean, that last line was a bit messy, and the golden rule I've probably said before is if the position's messy. It, well, if you're winning, you don't need to make it any more messy. If that makes sense. I say that, I'm thinking about some very messy things here. Let's go for it. Okay, I want to now just get him on h1. So, move the knight, checkmate him on h1. Okay, you can check me. Not a problem. Not concerned about check. So, just want to get my queen to h1. Simple stuff. Attacking my queen. But I'm hoping some tactic like that is going to scare him. Should scare him. Wow, it's looking awfully... Okay, I've got luck. This is, this is looking really beautiful now for me. 
Well, let's just take this one first. Don't need to be flash. I was thinking a knight takes g3, knight g6 check there confused me a little bit. This is going to be leading to checkmate. I'm pretty sure about that on e2 in a lot of positions. Check, check, checkmate. And he's got three seconds to go. Whoa. There we go. Ah, oh, six points away. Oh, it's like marathon chess, this. Knackered after this. Absolutely knackered. Okay, this this line again. Well, this 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 worked out. I've, I, I'm sure last time he was getting smashed, and I'm just going to do the same again. If he castles here, he really is just a loony, absolute loony tune. Okay, we don't, Harry. Harry sometimes likes giving his life for the cause, and that's what Harry's going to do here. He's going to give his life for the cause. Um, I'm not sure what cause it is now. I'm not sure where my compensation is. Open up the this file. Can I claim that's a cause? Can I give up this pawn? Mm, well, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's give up this pawn. We know this guy is like greedy, mon greedy, and now I'm hoping I'm gonna get an attack again. That's what it's all about. So let's hope we get some kind of attack here. Nope, we haven't got an attack. Well, g4 is still a threat, which we will play anyway. Thing is, in these positions, you you always get counterplay because your opponent, no matter what, it takes them a long time to get castled, and he can, of course, castle here, but it's very risky with the the positioning of my pieces. Now, can I take this pawn here? I could do, but I, I don't even want to. Don't even want to play that necessarily. Okay, let's get rid of this knight. Open up the H file. And I've got bishop h3 to stop him castling queenside, hopefully. Oh, it's so tempting to take there now. So, well, I'm going to play this first. I don't, I'm not worried about him taking on a2. And then I'm, I am probably should be worried about him taking on a2, in all fairness. That's probably just a good move. Because if I go rook takes d6... Okay. Wow, wow, that's a wow move, that is. Didn't expect that one. Okay, well, first of all, let, let's just stop any funny business there. I need, I need to get my queen to h4, checkmate him here, get my bishop out of the way. But as soon as I go, as soon as I do this, he's always got h5 to block block things up over here. So maybe I should be going bishop g4 and playing my queen to h2 and take... Well, he's, okay, his, his position's actually okay here. He doesn't need to worry here. I don't think quite yet. Um, I mean, I was thinking just knight he moves his knight somewhere, he swaps some bits off. He's getting scared though again, isn't he? Got to keep the position open. So my last move pretty much forced. And again, I want to get my queen to the H file. Look at how Harry has sacrificed his brave life to get me that little bit nearer to the 2500 mark, hopefully. Um, and, well, look at what Harry's done. He's opened up the H file for me. Thanks, Harry. You are a good friend of mine, Harry. You won't be, you'll be remembered in the afterlife of chess pieces, the pawns world. And that's not the kind of pawn I love you thinking of. Pawns world, peace world, where all the pawns gather, talk about their war stories, how great they were in life. And, well, that just looks like absolute bonkers to me. Surely he can't survive this. Surely he can't survive this. It's mate, isn't it? Am I, am I seeing things or is it, is it just mate? Well, it's not mate, but I win a queen. Thank you. Okay. Well, a queen apiece. Well, okay. You can play on. I don't really see the point of people playing on. Well, I do, actually. <laughs> He can play on if he wants to. Let's not be too critical. We've all done it, haven't we, Simon? Yes, you have. <laughs> and obviously, pieces in chess are very useful at times, you know. There's a little, 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 uh, little bit of a. Uh, why am I? I should not be thinking about how to win this position, should I? No, I shouldn't be. I should just win it. 
somehow I'm thinking about how 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 am I winning this? What am I crazy? Am I absolutely? Hmm. <laughs> Why am I? Okay, come on, come on, Simon. Okay, simple. Yeah, we just got to force his king back and go f4. That's what I, that was, that was the plan I was looking for. And as long as we do that, it's going to be all over. Yeah, come on, man. Now you're completely lost. Give me a little bit of respect. I might be a crap GM, but I'm still a GM FM. You know? Oh, come on. Come on, mister. Thank you. Yes! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Look at that rating. Oh, yeah. 2,500. Now that is time to go and have a little rest. Okay, well, great. Um, that was that's happy days for me. I got there at the end, unbelievable, and uh, I I can now have a little chill out. Cheers for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will try to play a bit of a longer time limit in future. Got to twenty five hundred. That's good enough for me for the time being. Next video, I'll talk a little bit about longer playing. Um, playing longer and talk about my ideas now let's finish my little song again if it's at the start so here we go okay now simon is the man with the master plan you ain't winning against him i hope you understand now he's a chess grandmaster he'll seal your fate if you think you might wonder well i guess it's just too late now you can still love if you're a pet so step your game up if you ain't good there's no need to blame us he put in the work now look how far he came up ginger gm you can go and put that name up hair like a ninja cause he is the dutch king he gonna wear the crown and always do his thing watch the pieces fall down as he shoves harry up the board how many wins you better tell he up the score he'll Bring Freddy to the party, got to celebrate the skills It's just a match and you can't replicate At the top spot like he floating with some helium The one and only chess master, Simon Williams